Hello everyone and welcome back to Universal Narratives channel. Today, we'll explore one of the most beautiful phenomena in space, supernova explosions. A typical supernova can produce a light so bright that it could outshine its entire galaxy. While witnessing such a space phenomenon is rare, new data from scientists has revealed that a massive supernova is set to happen in our galaxy within the next 100 years. We'll discuss when this incredible event will occur, which star will be responsible, and the potential effects on our planet. So, join us in this video as we talk about this soon-coming supernova explosion set to light up the night sky all over the world. A supernova is a powerful and luminous explosion of a star in space. It occurs when the pressure drops greatly in a massive star, and it can no longer bear its weight, causing it to collapse in on itself and produce a massive explosion. Supernovas play a major role in distributing elements throughout the universe. Various elements are formed in dying stars, and a supernova is the ideal avenue for the star to release these elements which then travel across the cosmos to form new stars and planets. Scientists even believe that most of the elements we find on Earth were originally formed inside the cores of stars. Supernovas are rare occurrences, happening only when a star has reached its final evolutionary stages and collapses, giving off a giant explosion in space. So imagine looking on the horizon and sunrise is half the sky. Okay, that would be terrifying. It has been quite a while since a supernova was observed in our galaxy. The last known event was way back in 1604 when the Kepler star exploded. However, new observations have been made of supernovas in other galaxies. Not all supernovas come from dying stars. Some are from white dwarfs. A white dwarf is the remnant of a stellar core, and these extremely dense stellar bodies do not qualify to be called stars. They form supernovas when they steal matter from a companion star, reigniting nuclear fission within their core. These white dwarf and dying star supernovas can produce extreme shock waves, releasing numerous solar masses of material into the surrounding medium at the speed of light. The expanding shock waves from supernovas can trigger the creation of new stars, and scientists believe this is how nearly all the stars we see in galaxies today were formed. If a supernova were to occur outside our galaxy, a telescope would easily see it. However, there are a couple of stars within our galaxy that could light up our night sky if they exploded. One of the most notable ones is Betelgeuse, also known as Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse is one of the oldest and brightest stars in our night sky. It's about 8 million years old and forms part of the constellation Orion, one of the most famous constellations visible all over the world. Betelgeuse can be spotted on the right shoulder of Orion, which is why it is nicknamed the Alpha Orionis. For a long time, it has intrigued astronomers and astrophysicists due to its significant brightness and unique color. Unlike most stars in our sky that give off blue light, Betelgeuse gives off an orange light, a feature attributed to its old age. Betelgeuse has a radius of about 626 million kilometers and weighs about 11 times the mass of our sun. Scientists believe it wasn't always this big, but it started expanding as it grew older. Recent observations have shown that Betelgeuse's radius has expanded by an additional 9% since 2019. The study of Betelgeuse became even more intriguing when scientists discovered it was pulsating. This means that Betelgeuse was periodically expanding and reducing in size. The pulsation was studied for a long time, and it was discovered that it happened in regular cycles of 185, 230, 420, and 2200 days. A new team of scientists led by Dr. Hideyuki Esio of Tohoku University published a paper suggesting that Betelgeuse is dying much faster than previously thought. According to their research, Betelgeuse is nearing the end of the carbon-burning stage of its life, which indicates that it could complete this phase within the next few decades. After the carbon-burning phase, the star will collapse on itself and become a supernova. The new team's simulations showed that the two 200-day cycles are the primary pulsation periods, and this indicates that Betelgeuse is much bigger and older than previously predicted. However, no one can determine the exact timing of Betelgeuse's explosion. Some scientists believe it could happen within the next 100 years, while others argue that it might not occur for another 1,000 years. Regardless of the timing, when Betelgeuse does go supernova, 
it will be one of the brightest stars in the sky, outshining everything else in our galaxy, including our sun. The potential effects of Betelgeuse's explosion on Earth would depend on its distance from us. Since it's estimated to be around 600 light years away, we might feel some effects from its cosmic rays, which could cause health complications in humans and lead to electronic problems in satellites. However, if Betelgeuse were closer, within 5 to 30 light years, it could have devastating consequences, such as destroying the ozone layer and causing ultra-high radiation levels on Earth. In conclusion, we eagerly await the possibility of witnessing the spectacular event of Betelgeuse's supernova explosion within our lifetime. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Your support means the world to us, and we can't wait to bring you more exciting content. Join our growing community today and be a part of the adventure. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay connected, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Your support means the world to us, and we can't wait to bring you more exciting videos. Join our growing community today and be a part of the adventure.